The Sexual Productive Health and Rights Youth Advocacy in Mombasa is a project that uh, endeavors to reduce teenage pregnancies in Mombasa. So the project has taken two approaches. It has a community aspect as well as a school approach. So when it comes to the community angle, we also endeavor to ensure that there is increase in demand for services as well as information around sexual productive health and rights. And we've been doing this through uh, community outreaches as well as inreaches. And the inreaches were informed by the outbreak of corona, which actually made it impossible to have very large gatherings. So we resorted to having inreaches to actually ensure that there is uh, minimized public interaction and also adolescents and young people are able to access these services. We also have a pool of CHVs whom we also use to create this demand as well as uh, awareness around social productive health and rights. And they are the ones who also help us in ensuring that adolescents are referred for services to the health center that uh, we've been actually given, let me use that term, by the Department of Health of Mombasa County. It's called Ziwalangombe. So that's our health facility where we have a youth desk. And um, from month to month, we actually come to actually do analysis of the number of referrals and the types of services that adolescents and young people actually have procured and at that particular health facility. This data actually helps us to make informed decisions and it's also a contributing factor to the decisions that the county department makes around sexual productive health and rights that um, target adolescents and young people. When you come to the school aspect, we have peer educators who have also been trained on uh, actually disseminating SRHR information to this particular target group. So currently we have partnered with four schools in Mombasa County and this partnership is out of goodwill and on a weekly basis we have a team of peer educators who actually have life skill sessions with these students just to try and engage them and also to empower them with SRHR information as well as life skills that can help them avoid you know, engaging in um, irresponsible as well as risky behaviors that eventually exposes them to risks such as HIV infection, STIs, unwanted or unintended pregnancies, as well as drug and substance abuse. And at the end of the day, the result will be reduced teenage pregnancy because there will be increased access to services with the result being now young people being in a position to make informed decisions about their reproductive health, as well as being able to procure services that can make them avoid the negative health implications that, will, that might have resulted from their irresponsible or, um, you know, responsible sexual behavior or risky behavior for that matter. So that is Sexual Productive Health and Rights Youth Advocacy in Mombasa Project for you that is being done by DIO, Dream Achievers Organization, with support from HIVOS Southern Africa.